A mother and her baby went missing in eastern Pennsylvania. Their disappearance made daily headlines in the Lehigh Valley. Now the mystery is in the hands of state police and the FBI. Did someone abduct the mother and child? Did they run away? So far, there's no answers. Four months later, their bodies were found in a patch of woods. Joanne Katrinak had been shot in the face. She had received 19 blows to her face and head. Baby Alex was found on his mother's stomach, dead from exposure. It was a shocking crime that shook the Lehigh Valley to its core. Two and a half years after the crime, a woman named Patty Rohr is arrested at her North Carolina home and extradited to Pennsylvania. A raucous crowd was waiting. A crowd of about 70 onlookers yelled and taunted Roar. It was just a lynch mob type situation. Baby killer, murderer. Patricia Lynn Roar is charged with capital murder. Upon conviction, the Commonwealth would ask for the death penalty. After a month-long trial, Patty Rohrer is found guilty. I actually thought that we could lose the case because of the circumstantial nature of the case, uh, but we knew she was guilty, and I'm glad to see 12 of our local people think she's guilty too. Judges for Justice believes that Patty Rohrer is innocent. If true, there are two inescapable conclusions. First, the life of an innocent person has been destroyed. Second, the real killer still walks the land, free to kill again. Why does Judges for Justice believe Patty Rohr is innocent? Why and how did this case go off the rails? Who really killed Joanne and Alex Katrinak? Well, that's exactly what this film is all about.